Hello dear students, now we are going to discuss about the IANA 12 which is about the biochemistry, alcaptanuria, right? So what are important points about the alcaptanuria? Alcaptanuria is a hereditary disorder, so it is a autosomal recessive inheritance. What happens in alcaptanuria? There will be a congenital deficiency. So what will be deficient in this patient? Enzyme is a homogentisate oxidase. So remember, homogentisate oxidase is the enzyme which will be deficient in alcaptonuria. So what will happen because of the deficiency of homogentisate oxidase? There will be a defect in the degradation pathway of tyrosine to the fumarate, right? So what will happen because of that when, when this tyrosine is not getting converted so what will happen there will be a pigment forming homogentisic acid and now homogentisic acid will be formed and they will be accumulated in the tissues as you can see here that homogentisic acid has been accumulated into the tissue right so that is why in clinical finding what, what are the things you are going to expect we are going to see bluish black connective tissue you can see the bluish black connective tissue right so bluish black connective tissue ear cartilage sclera and that is what we are seeing then a connective tissue ear uh, i saw this uh, in the sclera and then ear you are seeing so these are the important point which is also known as ochronosis ochronosis means pigment deposition right so these are homogentisic acid pigment deposition which is occurring into the sclera on the connective tissue and in the cartilage of the ears right which is also called as ochronosis and when you will see the urine examination you can see normally urine will be standing and they will be looking yellowish but alcaptonuria urine it will become black on standing to the on on exposure to the air so urine will be turning black on prolonged exposure to the air and this homogentisic acid when they are getting accumulated into the joints they may cause arthritis and arthralgia right so that is what you have to remember they can have arthralgia or arthritis and in this patient remember the course of the disease is benign and that is why you can say that life expectancy of the patient will not be affected in the alcaptonuria so keep learning best wishes to all of